summer is just around the corner, and how can we save even more money on our electric bill? Well, let's turn off the dryer. In this video, we are going to stop using the dryer, start using the clothesline, hanging up all the clothes for a month, and seeing if that lowers our electric bill. The electric kitty, script, what? My laundry room is a mess. We are under renovation in our laundry room, so excuse the mess. I always have laundry. I have tons to do right now, so we're gonna do some laundry. This is my homemade laundry detergent, which I will eventually do a video on. Um, I don't usually use liquid. I usually use a powder that I make, and honestly, I like the powder better. Also, when I do laundry, I am not a sorter, as you can tell. And I am not a, we're just gonna do a small load. I am a shove it down, fit as many clothes as you can in the washing machine type person. Does it clean the clothes better? Probably not. But does it get the job done? Eventually. One thing you always need to do before you hang up your clothes on the line is check the weather and make sure that you're not gonna get rained on, which I have done many a times. So let's talk about some pros and some cons of hanging up your clothes. So hanging up your clothes does take longer. Your towels don't get as fluffy. Um, it's a pain in the butt, to be perfectly honest. And if you don't have a big yard, you have to hang them inside, which I also do. Um, on chairs and different things like that and it just gets in the way and sometimes especially with kids they'll be sitting in a chair that has clean clothes on it and they'll put their nasty hands on it and then I have to rewash it. Some good things though is that it does extend the life of your clothing and sometimes especially in the North Carolina humidity it can take a day or two or three before you can take them off the line. The biggest pro is that it saves you money. Some tips for hanging your clothes on the line. Have clothespins. I've gone through phases. I'm looking at this hornet, making sure it's not gonna get me. I've gone through phases where I've hung up the clothes and then used my dryer, then hung up the clothes. And I've never had a problem with my clothespins disappearing, but of course, in recent months, and of course the wind's blowing, the kids have taken all of my clothespins. And this is why you need clothespins. Pants on the ground, pants on the ground, looking like a fool with your pants on the ground. So I have clothespins. Also, if it's pollen season, wipe down your clothesline and use your discretion on whether or not you should actually use your clothesline because you'll get pollen on your clothes and then if you have really bad allergies you know it'll get or just watch it because sometimes on those really hot spring days even though the pollen is out if you can put your clothes out in the sun even for two or three hours it usually dries them enough where you can bring them inside and fold them and they shouldn't get pollinated does the pollen go the dentist. Uh, dentist and um, it's probably the only time I'm gonna have to film my dryer outro <laughs> you got to take what you can get when you're always on the move always got kids around whenever you have a quiet moment you got to get your stuff done I did the laundry on the line for a month and as you can see, our bill went down 
39 more dollars. I'm like, if I could party right now and lift my hands and go woo woo, I would. <laughs> If you need to save some money, not only should you unplug all the small appliances, turn off all the lights, but also stop using that dryer, especially in the warmer months. In the colder months, it does get tricky. I do use my dryer less frequently than probably the average person. I cannot wait till the end, or I can't wait till June when we go over how much money total we have saved. I'm just so excited because I know it's going to be a lot. If you like this video, go watch this one and we'll see you next time.